Hello, this is Mr. Chansbury. I'm going to take you through notes on 2D, which is standard form, otherwise known as scientific notation. So, um, after this you should be able to convert decimal numbers into scientific notation, be able to convert scientific numbers into decimal form, and then also be able to multiply and simplify numbers um, in scientific notation. So, with that, let's uh, take a look at some numbers here. So, we have 10,000, and then let's go to 1,000, 100, 10, 1, and then we've got 1 tenth, 1 hundredth, 1 thousandth. All right, <clears throat> now as we move down this way here, each time we go from each, each time we go down a level, we are actually really just dividing by 10 each time, right? 1,000 divided by 10 gives us 1,000. Sorry, 10,000 divided by 10 gives us 1,000. 1,000 divided by 10 gives us 100. 100 divided by 10 gives us 10. 10 divided by 10 gives us 1. 1 divided by 10 gives us 1 tenth. Keep dividing by 100 and sorry, dividing by 10, and we keep going down. All right, now, um, another way to write 10,000 is we could write that as 10 to the fourth power, right? Uh, the way I remember always, always the way I remember um, how to write uh, numbers here in scientific notation or like to powers here is just basically if it's 10,000, 1,000, 100, basically if it's 1 followed by a bunch of zeros, just count the number of zeros before the decimal point. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, so it's 10 to the 4th. This one is 10, 1, 2, 3, zeros, 10 cubed, and so forth, and so on. Now as you look here, we're actually going, we're actually subtracting 1 every time from the power, right? 4 minus 1 gives us 3, 3 minus 1 gives us 2, 2 minus 1 is going to give us our 10 to the first. And again, we just keep going down by 1 power. So that's 10. 1 is the same thing as 10 to the 0. 1 tenth is 10 to the negative first. 1 one hundredth is 10 to the negative second. And 1 one thousandth is 10 to the negative third. And again, that works by just, again, subtracting 1 from each exponent as we go down. All right, now this also, just as a side note, <clears throat> this is a good way to explain why a number to the zero power is just one. Because again, as you follow the pattern here, you go down, to keep dividing by 10, and you get to one here. All right, and then you keep going down into fractions. So, um, let's take a look at what um, scientific notation really is. Okay, so scientific notation is basically it's a number that's written in a certain form. So scientific notation, a number written in the form where we have the first number is a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 is the first number and then we also and then it is also multiplied by a power of 10. Okay. So for example here we could have an, another way to write this would be say you have your number, let's call it n, has to be greater than or equal to 1 and then less than 10. Right. And then you're also multiply by 10 to some 
power, let's call it, um, I don't know, let's call it R. Okay. So that's the form that it takes. Okay. So let's take a look at um, example 7 from page 43. Okay, so the example 7 from page 43 is right 9, I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's 9, 4, 4, 8, 800, comma, and then 9 zeros all after that. So um, <clears throat> we're going to write this in scientific notation. So basically what you want to do is here is where our decimal is, is right here, right? So that number we have to write where n is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 so basically you have to write it so that the first the number here is just a single digit so this is where we want to this is where we want the decimal to be is right here so let's figure out how far we have to move it back that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 oops, 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15 spots that we have to move that back. So we would then just simply write it as 9.4488 times 10 to the, since we moved it to the left, we made this really big number into a small number. So to compensate for that, we have to write this as a positive power, 10 to the 15th. All right. Let's also take a look at example 8 from page 43. Okay, so this one here, example 8 from page 43, write this decimal here in scientific notation. Okay, so now again, we, have, we want that first number here to, it's basically you just keep, you, you're looking for the first non-zero number and then you put the decimal right after that so here's the first non-zero number five and then the decimal we want to be right here so now we have to figure out how many decimal spots to move that over so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen spots to the right okay so we would write that as five point three zero four times ten to that we made a really small number into a bigger number so to compensate for that we have to write this as a negative power so negative fourteenth power all right and that's all there is for standard form and scientific notation if you have questions feel free to ask thanks